Hello everyone, Ryan here from iOS Mars. Today I'm going to show you a little bit more into Ntrack Studio Multitrack Recorder for iOS. Uh, today I'm going to record, you know, two two different apps simultaneously, and then show you a little bit more of the options that come with Ntrack. Um, so let's get started on that. Basically, what I did here is um, I've created a drum a drum track inside Beatmaker 2 and a MIDI file that handles uh, sending MIDI to the Galileo organ. So it'll just be a, a drum and a organ sound. So um, yeah, all I have to really do here is um, click uh, record and then play the song. So let's do that. Alright, so that's just a little song I made up. Um, nothing too spectacular, of course, but just for the point of what we're doing. So, okay, now that we got that done, I'm going to stop the Beatmaker 2 here, and uh, I'll close that audio bus panel to give us some more room. You know, um, a, lot of things, uh, a lot of things to show you here, but I'll start by, uh, I'm just going to change the beats per minute as uh, the song I recorded here was in uh, 110 beats per minute. Oh no, actually it was 100, so I'll change it to 100, sorry. So 100 beats per minute, and now the reason I've done this is because uh, N-Track does have some nice snap functions for, um, you know, setting up the cursor placement as well as um, editing, uh, editing the sounds here. So what I'm going to do is, uh, up in the corner here there's this grid looking um, icon. We'll just click that and it'll bring up a, a grid over top here when this grid will be at uh, 100 beats per minute and that's where that starts to come in handy. So we can click where it says measure here. Again the buttons are really hard to press on this app so hopefully that gets handled soon. But um, yeah this is where we can you know measures the biggest to the our smallest uh, uh, size here which is 128 so um you know we can put it at 64 right now and we can start to to zoom in on our track and um, and see where we're at here right on okay so we're gonna need uh we're gonna need to take it all the way to 128 here let's do that and now um let me drag out Get all the way back to the beginning here, and we'll take this. Uh, sorry, grab this file, and we're gonna we're gonna drag it all the way back into place here. And we're gonna do the same thing with the next one as well. Sorry, it's a little hard to see. Let me drag this over so you can see what I'm doing. And we'll match that up. And now we can take both of these. Let me make this a bit smaller here so we can do it all on one screen. And we'll take these and just drag them all the way to the edge. And now as we can see the, the measure lines here, um, I'll put it back on measure. Sorry. The measure lines all, all line up pretty good to our wave files here and that's exactly what we wanted so you know if we want to split this somewhere so we can we can do that so we'll select the track we go into our options here and splice and we see we split that there so we could get rid of the second part if we wanted to um, not what we're gonna do right now so that's uh that's the snapping function and splitting things up. 
Now, the one uh, thing I did want to show you, and it's something that I use all the time, uh, especially with vocals, because uh, vocals are so, uh, the volume of your vocals can be very different uh, throughout what you're singing. So, um, there's uh, actually volume automation inside here. So if we click this little arrow icon with the ball in the center, that's our that's our um, navigation point and then we have edit and then we have uh, another navigation where we can move things a little bit differently and then we have our automation so we'll select automation and as you can see it's brought up uh, a couple little green balls here and some lines you know adding automation is super easy because all we're gonna have to do you know you could you can zoom in as much as you want for this but I'll just do it quickly just to show you so we can just click along the line and everywhere that we touch we'll leave a, behind a dot and then we can select these dots again and we can begin to move them and of course that's gonna that's gonna be taking our volume down then up again then down then up again then down and uh... we can do the same thing for this track as well Sorry, if you don't select the track first, uh, the balls don't appear right away. That's okay. I'm just going to add some extra into this one. And we'll do the exact same thing, but a little bit differently. I just want to do it this way just so you can hear. Obviously, when you're doing it yourself, you're, you're not going to make you're not going to make changes like this for no reason. But let's listen to this. See, as you can hear, the volume automation is working. So, you know, not really useful in this song per se, but, um, you know, it would be really useful, especially when you're adding lyrics. I always need to do some kind of automation with my vocals because I'm all over the place with the volume. But, yeah, that's all I wanted to show you about N-Track Studio Multitrack Recorder today. Um, I hope this was helpful, and, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time.